In this video, we will be solving question, uh, a numerical related to binomial distribution. So, the problem statement is, the probability of germination of a seed in packet of seeds is found to be 0 0.7. Okay, so probability of seed germination is 0 0.7. Okay, and if 10 seeds are taken, so n value is 10. Okay. Find the probability that 8 seeds germinate, at least 8 germinate, at most 8. Okay, fine. These are the problem sub parts. Let's, uh, let's first derive a general equation. Okay, so first p value we have got 0 0.7, n value we have got 10. So q would be 1 minus p that is 1 minus 0 0.7 that is 0 0.3. Okay, so now let's proceed. Uh, let x be, here we are considering x to be the seeds germinating see the number of seeds germinating so now by binomial distribution you have to write the formula first that is ncx p of x q of n minus x which can be rewritten as p of x is equal to 10 cx p of x q of 10 minus x which can be further written as 10cx p value is 0 0.7 x q value is 0 0.3 10 minus x so this is the general equation you put this in calci and x value you put uh, the variable x in calci and each time with as the number as the x value changes you can get the answer easily so now let's start with the sub part. First part says probability of exactly 8 seeds germinate. So P of X is equal to 8. So P of X value is 8 here. So if X value is 8, we can write it as, we can write the equation as 10C8, P of 8 and Q of 10 minus 8. Put 8 in this equation. 0 0.78, 0 0.3, 10 minus 8 is 2. So, if you solve this, you will get 0 0.2335. So, our second part was, uh, at least 8 seeds germinate. At least 8 seeds means 8 to maximum. That is at least. A maximum here is 10 seeds. So, P of 8 to 10. That is P of 8, P of 9 and P of 10. In this equation, substituting the x values as 8, 9 and 10 and then solving it further in Calci, you'll get the below answers. Add all of them, you'll get the final answer. Now we have, you'll get the final answer. Now we have at most 8 seats. At most 8 seats means from 0 to 8, that is at most. So you'll start from p of 0, p of 1, p of 2, p of 3, so on till p of 8 or you will minus p of 9 and p of 10 from 1. So this is better, right? So 1 minus p of 9 and p of 10. p of 9 from this, we know that it is 0 0.1211 and p of 10 from this, we know that it is 0 0.0282. So 1 minus, if you sum up this and find out the difference, you will get it as 0 0.8507. So I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments. Thank you.